All right, Debbie. So today we're talking about super hot online businesses that you can tap into in 2018. So these are super trendy markets. And the benefit of this is that although that they're, they're popular and competitive, because they're so trendy, there's small little angles that we can attack and get into. So what we're talking about today is three particular markets that I want to focus on and how to find entry points to get in. All right, so first off, let me do a quick check on the, the stream health here, and then we'll jump right on in. I'll talk about the specific markets. I've talked about some of these in the past. Um, I really want to just elaborate a little bit more on each market. So real quick, just giving you guys a quick test. How are we doing with video and audio? And we'll start right in. It sounds good. Sound good. Do we have audio peak? Uh, good. Trying to get started. Good, good. All right, guys. So th these are the markets in particular that we're talking about here today, as you might have guessed, are crypto, gaming, and diet. So all three of these are very fad oriented and they have a lot in common with one another. And it's a, it's a certain type of audience that uh, we're able to, to, to attack here. Now, the ben there's benefits and drawbacks of this particular audience. So let's start, start with crypto, for example. Crypto, uh, these type people interested in crypto or, are for the most part people that want to get rich quick without putting in effort. So these people are, are usually very uh, fleety and very trendy. So if you're able to catch the trends, you can blow up a YouTube channel pretty quickly. So today, right now, the Bitcoin, let me jump back on here. The Bitcoin keywords are a bit competitive. Now that doesn't mean that you can't get in and really crush it if you attack long tail keywords, but we wanna shift our focus from Bitcoin oriented keywords to the more, to the altcoins. So those altcoins that you might wanna consider uh, attacking are things like Ripple, Dash, um, Ether, Litecoin, uh, Monero, Mon Monero, M XMR is the the the, the, uh, the symbol for that. So, uh, start with all those. Also, start working in keywords like GDAX. So that's one of the exchange marketplaces that you can tap into. Hold on, um, try to work in things like GDAX tutorials, uh, Coinbase tutorials, uh, benefits and drawbacks of both, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So make videos, make content about these alternative based uh, keywords that are still related to crypto and work your way into there. So just to show you guys something pretty cool, here is a, um, here is an altcoin video. I don't, I don't think I'm allowed to pull it up. Uh, hold on, let me just pull it up, I'll pause it so it doesn't, I don't get any kind of issues with, oh, okay. All right, so uh, this is uh, Trevor, Trevon James here. Um, the video itself was made like, what the hell, what is that? Less than, less than a month ago, already 230,000 views. So these altcoin, these altcoin keywords, even the word altcoin, great way to enter and avoiding the more competitive Bitcoin keywords. All right, so from there, let's get, let's keep going with the Bitcoin niche. We'll, we'll go one by one with these topics. Let me just make sure real quick we're doing good on stream health. I know always have issues. All right, we good? Everyone good? All good? Okay. All right, so from here, what you're gonna want to do, this is what I think will be the better, the better strategy. Go for, you're gonna want, want to start trying, attempting to do live streams. So what I recommend is about a 90% recorded video. So for those of you into YouTube, this is a great way. 90% pre-recorded videos. So these are, again, uh, going after altcoin keywords and also exchange keywords like GDAX. There was actually a lot of search traffic just with this key, keyword alone. So like tutorials, what's the best exchange, market exchange for altcoins, et cetera. So work those, work those in make videos about that. Now, I recommend that you also start doing some live streams. So this could be, uh, this can be a little bit scary for some of you out there, but I don't see many, too many uh, crypto people doing live streams regularly. And I see Ty Lopez doing some. Um, I recommend you work these in. So what you can do is connect with uh, services, either Wirecast, if you're familiar with that software. Um, you, OBS, unfortunately, doesn't have uh, with the default settings, a way to restream out unless you connect it with services like, let me, let me pull these up here. It's called Restream. Where is it? I have a page up here somewhere. Uh, where'd it go? Somewhere. So Restream. I talked about this in yesterday's video, I believe. Restream.org. I'm not affiliated with this, this program. Uh, where is it? Right here. So Restream.io. Um, I, I stumbled upon this the other day. I think I'm going to start using this for my channel. The way this works is you basically hook up OBS or Wirecast and, and feed it through Restream, and this will send it out to various different platforms. So you can do it to like Facebook groups, Facebook pages, Facebook profiles, your YouTube channel, um, several other, I think it has support for over 100 different services, I'm not mistaken. So 
With this, you can stream out to different platforms and start building your audience that way. We're talking about, the way I like to look at this is like, I like to play the game of risk. Instead of going after the big kahuna like the United States, you're gonna go after those smaller properties by doing these um, altcoin strategies here and making, making content for those, work in the live streams, and I think that you'll be able to pull in an audience pretty quick in these, these markets here. So uh, to keep in mind guys, Bitcoin audience is very fleety in the sense that they are kind of like the get, get rich quick type people, but it doesn't mean that this audience isn't valuable. Um, you're just gonna have to, have to focus your content around that. All right, second niche, uh, the second type of online business that we're gonna wanna work into. Also guys, think about in the, in the crypto the crypto space, creating a character. Like there's that dude, uh, the crypto genius, he has the glasses and all. I think that's complete, that's so freaking brilliant. Figure out some kind of character that you can create to kind of lead the charge here because crypto space is competitive, but you want to have that character to stand out. So uh, another one, a friend of mine has one called Crypto Girl. That's his, uh, Jamie Lewis has a, 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 his wife is a brand called Crypto Girl. So I think there's some kind of uh, unique character to create. I'll, I'm a big fan of characters. So uh, as you guys know, I'm a big fan of that stuff. I mean, everyone good? Is everyone good? Video good? Video, um, can, can you guys hear me? I think there's some issues with breakup, breakup here. Stream is awesome, good. All right, so we got 150 people on. We got some cash we're giving out in a minute. Uh, sorry guys, I have to check because these streams aren't very reliable at this time with um, the video and all that. So uh, I got $100 of cash given out in a minute. We'll talk about that in a second. All right, so next topic is gaming. This is one of the most competitive, not the most competitive, but um, for that younger audience, this is a competitive market. But when done correctly, you can tap into this and start building an audience. So again, this is one of those things you're gonna definitely want to build some kind of character, something. Get some kind of piece of flair, like a wig, if you have to, like a blue wig, maybe some goofy goggles or something like that. Work in a character, some kind of unique thing to make you stand out from the audience. So what you can do here in this topic is, for most of you gamers, I think all of you know, uh, it's very trendy, very uh, group oriented. So you guys know what are the hot games when they come up. Like you can go to gaming.youtube.com. Here, of course, the, the hotter games is Fortnite just came out. This is definitely trending. But you see how they work in very, it works in very trends. Like pe the, the people will jump from one game to the next. You wanna make sure that you're, you're attacking uh, while the trend is coming up, like let's check out the Google, where is it, somewhere around here. Here's some the Google Trends. This is a great way to figure out where we are in the cycle. So uh, let me just remove GDAX from here. Let me see here, remove. Okay, I got a bunch of weight, weight loss things in here, but Fortnite, let's work that in here. So Fortnite is, is it's a relatively newer game. You can see here it started to really take off in about the, it, it, I guess there was, this is, must have been the beta release. Like you, if you guys can see the green line here, um, this must have been the beta release. Uh, so it actually did pretty good. So what you can do is you can compare it against more popular generic keywords like, um, you know, diet keywords, whatever you want to compare it against, something, uh, something generic and compare it against this. So you can see, this must have been the beta release here with my fingers on. See how there's a spike? Comparatively to these diet keywords, like the beta is really taken off. So let's just compare, let's do, let's do a more even comparison here. Let me get rid of these weight, these weight, loss, uh, weight loss things here. Um, hold on one sec. Let's get rid of these. Lag, of course. Okay, Fortnite, what's up uh, Fortnite? Let's look at player unknown, unknown. What's the, what's the acronym for that? Player on Pugs? Is that what it is? Player Unknown? It's Pugs, right? For those of you, Pugs, I think it is. Who Who's into that? It's Pugs? Minecraft, what's working in Minecraft? My, uh, I only play Counter-Strike, so those of you like, oh, he's not using the acronyms. Oh my God, he's not a gamer. Uh, let's work, let's work in CSGO. All right, so here we go, here we go. Oh, I got the keto diet in here still. Uh, remove. All right, so the beta, all right, so here we go. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm assuming this spike right here is basically the beta release. So you can see that the buzz from it really took off. So it's close to the, the average CSGO off of that, um, that initial release. It mirrors CSGO in and of itself. So that's a good sign. So the beta and the search results, if you see a big spike like that rivaling other games, this is a good chance that's gonna do pretty good. So I assume what happened is the beta release and they're fixing all the little bugs here and then boom, release, bam, look at that. And that's where we're at right now. So that's, 
a good way to um, compare it to some of the more average games or the more kind of mainstream games that have already taken hold. So do that. So tr compare some of these newer beta releases to these uh, the, the the recent releases of s games like CS:GO. You can do uh, what's enough What's an, for the for the gamers out there? Is it P uh, P P U uh, P U B G? All right, let's check that out. Hold on, I'm just gonna show you guys how to figure out what when some of these games are trending. So P U P U B G. All right, let's check that out. All right, so that uh, which that's yellow. So that's rivaling. Um, it looks like it had an earlier start. I guess they didn't really do a beta release. They might have, but it doesn't look like it. You can see here though, but these games intersected. The games as far as search volume intersect all at the same the same point here. So try to look at some of that stuff. These are definitely like the two uh, in games right now are these two right here, uh, at least for my, my graphs here. So to, some tips for this guys, um, what you're gonna want to do is first focus on building up audiences outside of these platforms. So it's gonna be hard for you to just jump in and start streaming and not, not to say that it can't work, what you're going to want to do is start finding some Facebook groups, start joining all these, start networking, start joining various clans, various groups in these games, and connect with people on, on services like Discord. So this is all going to be very um, laser-targeted one-on-one networking, but this is how you can slowly but surely start building up people to watch your streams. Now, you're definitely going to want to lead the charge here with... Um, with small contests. Small contests are going to go a long way in these topics. So what I recommend is maybe $25 giveaways. You can give away some, you know, like a mouse or give it to the, uh, buy one of the, the top, uh, top gaming gear, like those Razer mouses, I think are pretty hot. Um, start with that and, and work on building up your properties outside of YouTube. So I think this is a great way to start picking off people. Like go to the community here and start networking with people here. You can drop tutorial videos, what I recommend. This is gonna be a little bit counterintuitive what people recommend as far as uh, starting with, the, with the, the gaming niche. I recommend you actually start off with doing some pre-recorded video content. So do more SEO related videos, tutorials, tips, et cetera, for a specific game. So let's say you wanna do the Fortnite uh, streaming, Fortnite. Find some keywords that people are, are targeting and make tutorial videos about this. All right, so that's going to help you build up a YouTube channel. And then from there, uh, as, along with building up your connections on your communities and all that, one by one, promote people to your YouTube channel, do giveaways, uh, start building some influence one by one in those communities. Then you can start live streaming. All right, so before that's what I recommend. Also build up a character, uh, uh, build up some sort of character, uh, whatever, well, like I said, like a gear, put some stupid little goggles on, something to make you stand about. Also, this is definitely a very personality-based uh, niche market, so start with that. So start 50% pre-recorded and funnel all of that into your live streams. I definitely also recommend you focus on building email lists. I know that sounds kind of old school, so to speak, in this niche, but email marketing is, ver is a proven way to start building out an audience. So definitely think about it in gaming. All right, let's talk about diet. These are all, again, another trendy thing. People hop from one, one trend to another. So dieting, what you can do is head over to Amazon, Let's see where we're at. I'm still on, let's see, Amazon. All right, so jump over to Amazon. Uh, this is a great way to get some competitive intelligence on what's hot. I have a tab here, I think this is it. All right, so just go through the, t the Amazon diet list here and you'll see that some of the hot, obviously the keto diet's doing pretty well. Uh, before, the big thing was paleo. The whole thing would be dominated by paleo results. So these are some hot topics. What, what you can do is make a YouTube channel about alternative diets. Uh, like for example, this keyword, this Dr. Kelly's bone broth diet. So you could spearhead your diet, um, the diet, the diet, a diet channel with these more obscure diets that are starting to take hold. So 865 reviews is a lot of reviews. That's a ton. So you know you could you could make a a, a, a YouTube channel, make a bunch of videos talking targeting bone to broth diet. Another one like. Um, the longevity diet, that seems a little bit smaller. I wouldn't focus on that. Uh, crazy sexy diet, that's ridiculous. The dash diet, like here's another one, the dash diet. So make videos about those. The dental diet, what the hell is that about? That's weird. Uh, lo the lose your belly diet. So work in these keywords to your YouTube channel. And again, these are very trendy. If you look at the, the results here, let's see, where are we at? Had it somewhere. Damn it, where'd it go? So here, no. Nope. Uh, anyway, uh, hold on, Google Trends. 
Okay, so let's work in some of those keto diet. Let's add that in. This is like the hot one right now for sure. You can see here that the paleo has been a pretty, uh, paleo is actually, it's on the decline, but you can see here over 12 months, let's move this out to five years. Paleo was hot in like 2011, but it actually stuck around pretty long. You still have some good search, search volume here. You can see though that now people are jumping over this keto diet. So it's very, very trendy. Now, um, again, this is a great way to compare these slopes here to see what it might, see how there's, see how there's a negative momentum and positive momentum. Obviously, you're going to want to be on the, on the diet that has that positive momentum. Now, obviously, it's very generic to say that now, but, uh, you know, hindsight is 2020. But even on a 12-month growth, uh, 12-month growth period here, you can see that there's definitely varying trends. So um, if you want to jump in, YouTube's a great way to start with this particular topic uh, as far as diet. So in, in, my, in my opinion, these are all going to be hot in 2013. Uh, crypto, gaming, and diet. Just make sure that you're always ahead of the trend as far as that's concerned. All right, guys, so hopefully that wasn't too generic. I, I know I was just I was just going in. Um, vegan, let's check out, people are saying vegan, let's ch check out the vegan diet comparatively. Uh, let's see here, vegan. Let's see where that's at, vegan diet. So vegan diet is, uh, it looks like it had a resurge of popularity. Let's check it out though. Vegan diet seems to be pretty consistent, so that's a good thing. Um, it does look like it has a little bit of a spike. It's definitely an evergreen market for sure. But as far as overall interest is concerned, keto diet is just destroying both of these topics. So um, just keep that in mind. It doesn't mean that you can't make plenty of money or no off of e either of these. These are still like very profitable niche markets. It's just that this is where like the big hype is in, in this in the cycle here. All right, so. Uh, let's see here, 2013. Why are people saying, did I, did I write 2013 somewhere? This is 2018. Okay, um, people are saying Reddit's great for marketing. Yeah, I'm gonna do some Reddit tutorials tomorrow for that. I have one up queued up for tomorrow, actually. All right, so you got anyone have any questions here? Hopefully, um, this is just good, some good food for thought. Obviously, you're gonna have to jump in and, and use your own like brain power to figure out some stuff. If you guys have any questions in particular about um, anything I talked about here today or good starting for it. Also, uh, of course, blogging is always a good way to, to enter in, especially evergreen wise, regardless of the to topic, blogging has always been a good go-to way to go about it. So oh, lagging out pretty bad here. Hold up, hold up guys, I'm lagging big time. Let's see, let me just clear out some windows. My, my, I think I've just like beat my computer to death here. Let me just clean, it, clean some uh, some stuff up. So, guys, does anyone have any questions in particular about uh, any of these any of these topics or how to the marketing tactics behind how to tap in? I'm happy to to give some answers here. Assuming my computer doesn't like literally just crash on me because everything is frozen right now. I'm just clearing up. What do I have? Do I have some video software running or something? All right. Bing Ads PPC is good for YouTube for sure. Someone says Taco Bell diet, untapped market. I like that idea. <laughs> uh, digestive disorder says, what about altcoin affiliate programs? Check them out, man. Let's check. Always use Offer Vault. You find some good. That's always a good like aggregate source of information as far as um, as far as finding the hot the hot affiliate offers. So literally every affiliate offer is pretty much going to be there. There are exceptions, of course, is always good. Um, there are always some things that, that don't list there, but I recommend you check that out as far as tapping in, tapping into that. All right, so uh, let's see here. Someone are, someone's asking how, to, oh, okay. More real saying, can I make at least $2,000 my first month with Tube Tycoon? Um, legally, I can't promise you any, um, any specific, uh, legally, I can't promise you specific results. Um, honestly, if that's like your, if that's what you're thinking, it's not really, I, that's not, that's not really all my business entrepreneur mindset. Um, obviously like it's possible to make money the first month, but if you're, if your frame of reference is one month, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. Um, just in any, anything. Delinda. Delinda says, Tube Tycoon, if you can afford it, they're both awesome. Thank you, Delinda. Let's see here. How about ClickBank, no website? Um, as an affiliate, I recommend you always have your own website. It just gives you that long, that, that longevity that you need. Um, make sure my audio is good. 
yeah, as far as that's concerned, uh, you definitely want to build a website. If you don't know how to do that, get my Deadbeat Super Affiliate Program. The link to that is below somewhere. This, even to this day, um, I'm, I get testimonials constantly from people, new testimonials, all people making results like Trinity just added her. She's making about $100, $400 a month with my Deadbeat Super Affiliate Program. All these are all recent testimonials. People make it six figures a year. This is on my, my Deadbeat Super Affiliate Facebook page, by the way. It's facebook.com slash Deadbeat Super Affiliate. Um, people send me testimonies literally all the time for this particular program. So that's my Deadbeat Super Affiliate Program. Um, like Radic here, I think he was making something like, what was it like 8,000, 6,000 a month or something like that just from my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System. Eric Stone hit $1,000 in one day. That's awesome. So I get, this is a huge wall of results. People add the, uh, add the testimonials all the time. That's for my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System. So what that shows you is how to enter into some of the markets that I talked about here today um, with through blogging and affiliate marketing. So that's a great place to start for all of you kind of new to the program, new to internet marketing and all that. Awesome way to start. Also, my Tube Tycoon is a bit is a level up. Show you how to tap into the three markets I mentioned today. That's TubeTycoon.com. It's all with YouTube. All right. Spooky Boo says, I love the blogging system. Thank you, Spooky Blue. Spooky Blue. Uh, Spooky Boo. Appreciate that. How many niches should you start as a beginner? I recommend you start with two or three to kind of get, I call it, I call it throwing darts on the dartboard. Um, what I mean by that is as a beginner, you're, you're like off the top of my head, I can pretty much look at a niche and tell you when it's profitable. So as a beginner, it's hard. You're not good because you haven't thrown darts on the dartboard. You're not really going to know the top, the profitable niches. Although in my programs, I do, I do look kind of list off a lot of the top niche markets out there. Um, for, for you, you have to start throwing darts out there. So realistically, it's good to, to diversify a little bit your first couple months to see which topic sticks, which doesn't. So I recommend you start off with three topics and then look at the ones that are working for you and then start honing down, honing down. So from my experience, you can realistically do focus on two campaigns at once um, if you really want to see results. Okay, I need some, need some uh, chopstick here. All right. Uh, M. Light M. Lightman says, how many affiliate offers should you promote per page? Personally, I only do one at a time. I only do one at a time. That's, that, that, that's worked best for me. Jen, Jen Ever says, thank you. I just started your Deadbeat Super Affiliate System. Awesome, Jen. It's a, good, it's, a good, it's a great starting point, especially for beginners out there. Let's see here. A little rough today, guys. Uh, Chris Andre says, is the Deadbeat Super Affiliate Program still relevant today? Yes, absolutely. Um, Windows again, what's up, man? It says, Windows again says, man, I tell you, thanks to Dan, made my first $1,000 in my first week and almost $3,000 in my first, first month. So, so someone was asking, is it possible to make 2000 your first month? We, uh, Windows again, uh, obviously like people have done it. People have done it. Now legally, I can't promise you the same results, but people have taken my programs and Windows again says he made a thousand his first weekend and three, almost 3000 in, in his first month with, I believe that's my deadbeat super affiliate system if I'm not mistaken. So that one's been, a, 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 uh, that one's been around a little bit a little bit longer so that it's like I still have results um, like I just had my first student it was like a week ago make $20 a day with one video I've gotten people making their first sales with tube tycoon also so it's a newer program as far as where internet marketing is going it's definitely YouTube so um, YouTube is YouTube is the way to go here's a great question Jerry Hemphill says how do you do YouTube for diet stuff if you're fat so this is a perfect opportunity to, for you to just jump in and say, all right, guys, look, I'm, I, I'm interested in the keto diet, for example. I want to lose weight. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to start, um, I'm gonna start making a, a, a living case study, like a first-person case study of how the keto diet's working for, with me. So video one, here I am. I am currently you know, 50 pounds overweight. My goal over the next week or two weeks is to lose five pounds with using the keto diet. So we're gonna start off today, video one, here we are. So here are some of the things that I'm doing. All right, so you can make your video like that. All right, so you don't have to be an expert, so to speak. You can do a little bit of initial learning and do like a, a, a follow along case study, like a real time testimonial. Uh, 
Uh, okay, Spooky Boo says, is it wise to put Google ads and affiliate links on the Deadbeat Super Affiliate or Tube Tycoon system? So I usually don't do them concurrently or simultaneously. I usually just focus on affiliate offers to be 100% honest with you guys. Um, I rather, I, I prefer focus rather than um, scattered ads. Okay, let's see here. Windows, uh, let's see here. So links to both my programs below, guys, if anyone's asking. Um, Pat says, ebooks and PDFs, any advice? Uh, yeah, five, a five-page ebook is about all you want to do. Anything more than that doesn't get consumed. Um, that's from my experience. Some people give away like 100-page ebooks. I, I don't like those. How do you feel about PowerPoint videos for YouTube? Uh, they're, they're super powerful. That's Tyler Bryant. Dude, get my, get my Tube Tycoon system. It's all about that. Um, obviously, if you want to do it in person, I have uh, strategies for that as well. But PowerPoint videos, from my experience, man, I need water bad. Mm, too much coffee. PowerPoint videos, from my experience, work just as well as in-person videos. I like in-person videos now, though. They're easier to do kind of like off the cuff, uh, if you haven't noticed. The Reddit rabbit says, hey, Dan, my mom has 25,000 Instagram followers in the home interior niche. Do we have any earning potential with that audience? I've not worked in that market um, personally, so I can't tell you for sure. But really, uh, it, home, the home interior decorator is a job. So um, people make money off of it. So anything that's related to money can be powerful. Jerry Hemphill says, do you have a Facebook page for every product? Um, not necessarily, not necessar necessarily, uh, but obviously the more exposure you have, the better. Potent content, says, potent content says Reddit or Quora. Both of them are super powerful, super powerful. Mo Real says, is the video making part in Deadbeat Super Affiliate System necessary to make sales? No. Mo Real, dude, though, you've been asking questions for a long time, man. Like, why aren't you should just, by this point, I mean, I, I can tell that you're, you're still kind of on the sidelines, dude. Like, just get off the sidelines and start producing. Like, these questions don't need to be asked. It's It should be just go in, follow the system, and start pumping out content. Just to, you know, like, because I, I can tell you've been here asking questions over and over again for the past two weeks. I'm not hating on you. I know what's happening, though. I know you're kind of just like, ooh, ooh, like, like just start, just go in there with a the freaking hammer and start hammering and, and stuff out. You'll, you should have been able to answer your question already by doing that. Okay. What are your thoughts on content creating as a starter in the world of niches? I'm not sure I understand that question. Nathan Collady says, I got your system and made my first $50 this month. That's awesome, Nathan. Thank you. Nathan, is that the Tube Tycoon system uh, or, or Deadbeat Super Affiliate system? Nathan Collady. Awesome, dude. Congrats to you. That's awesome. $50 is a good, there's always like one, it's like the first initial milestone. It's like first sale, $50 to $100, $500,000 a month. So Nathan did that just off my Deadbeat Super Affiliate system. Man. Really gotta work on this. Mm. Mo Real says I've been working for a month and I haven't seen much results. Then you say you got you made forty five dollars so far, dude. Like that for your first month, that's good. You're you gotta shift your mindset, man. It's gonna take you longer than like building a business is not uh you know what you can make in your first month. Now it's obviously it's obviously possible. But you need, I think you need to harden up a little bit, harden up your mentality a little bit, extend your instant, your need for instant gratification out there farther. This is my opinion. Uh, but you made $45 your first month, dude. Like, that's pretty good. Don't, like, dunk it down on yourself. It took me three weeks to get my, make my first 53 cents. So you're doing good, man. Okay, last question for Dan. Selling digital uh, books on ebooks. Uh, Pat, okay, so ebooks are uh, Kindle ebooks are are profitable. I have a friend that does really well with that. Um, it, it, you, there's strategies to it. I don't, I don't, I, I have a couple tutorials here on my channel about that, but not too much. So um, it's a good business model. Whoops, lost myself here. Kindle ebooks. 
Uh, it's a great business model. It, there's just, you got, it's going to take you some experience just like anything else. All right, let's give out some money. We're going to keep this a short live stream. So everyone just type it. We're going to uh, keep it simple here. Um, potent content. BJ Min. Hey, I remember you. Is that potent content? Is BJ Min. That's cool, dude. I remember you. That's funny. Uh, let's give me $100 away here today. Let's start, let's start with 50 bucks. Dang, 100, 102, almost 200 people on today. All right, so let's start it off. Let's start it off. $50. We've got a lot of people on. So let's do... Uh, we're doing a hundred dollar giveaway today. I'm gonna pick two people right now off this this one. Just type in Tube Tycoon. I'm gonna pick people randomly, and we're just, you got 20 seconds to give me your your, your PayPal account. Uh, after I, I call the winner, Brian Rice says, "Is free traffic really the way?" Um, for the app, for the beginner, I recommend free traffic because in order to pull off paid traffic, you need to have a huge business on the back end. So. My goal for all beginners out there is to start getting you to make sales. Free traffic is the best way to do that for the flat out beginner, in my opinion. All right, pay traffic is too much for beginners. It takes, you need to, you need to spend like, a, you need to spend a long time building up your business back there. All right, so here we go. Winner number one, bam, we got Greg Clark. Winner number one, hit me up with your PayPal. What, so that's Greg Clark. Let me just take a screenshot of that. And we got Greg Clark, need your PayPal. And we have, boom. Uh, Rudolph, uh, Rudolph White. So Greg Clark and Rudolph White, both winners. I need your guys' PayPal cash uh, account right away. So that's Greg Clark and Rudolph White. Congrats to you guys. You both won 25 bucks. All right. Let me see. I need that PayPal though. You guys got 25 seconds to put that PayPal address in there. So 25. Need it ASAP. If it, if it doesn't go through, just change dot to dot, uh, the word dot with the parentheses. All right, Rudolph White, got you. Greg Clark, need your PayPal address. Greg Clark, I see you there. Need the PayPal address. Uh, man. Windows again, I don't hate you, man. All right, I got, I got you, Rudolph. I need Greg Clark. Greg, you got 15 seconds. If I don't see the PayPal address in 15 seconds, I'm moving on. I'm going to pick someone else. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Greg, you got five seconds, man. Put that PayPal address in there. Or I'm going to move on to the next winner. It's Greg White. Or Greg Clark. I saw you commented something, but where's the email? All right, we're moving on. We're moving on. We gotta pick one more then. Does anyone else, does anyone see his email in there? Cause I don't. Okay. Well, that was part of the rules. You gotta do it within 20 seconds. So I gave you like a minute. It's there earlier. Hold on. Let me see. I don't see it. Does anyone else see it? All right. Time's up, man. Time's up. Got to pick the next person. That was part of the rules. All right. So you got 20 seconds to claim it. 20 seconds to claim it for the next person. All right. All right, here we go. Boom. Adam Haley. Adam Haley, the winner. You got 20, 20 seconds. Adam Haley. There's one. So we have Ru Rudolph White and Adam Haley. So need your PayPal address. You got 20 seconds. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. 13, 12, Adam Haley, need that PayPal. We got 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Looks like Adam's falling off the ball too here. There's money up for grabs. People ain't claiming it. All right, I'm going to move on. I'm moving on. If you don't post it, like guys, I don't see it. So I'm, I'm moving on to the next person. You got five seconds, Adam. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, next person. Man, people are off. Get that PayPal address ready, guys. All right, we got two people that could have won, but they didn't have their pay PayPal address. All right, here we go. Next person, moving on. Ready? Bam. Uh, oh, we got Cyborg Photoshop videos. 
Cyborg Photoshop videos. So Cyborg, what's your PayPal? Congrats. Have you won before? I think you've won before, haven't you? That's all right. Not today. Only one winner per day. Same winner can only win one per day. So Cyborg Photoshop videos just won. All right. So t I got it. All right. So finally, someone listened. There we go. So. All right. Congrats. Okay. So Cyborg won. Let me just save this so I have this. Hold on one sec before my computer crashes here. All right, does anyone have, anyone have any other marketing questions? We'll give out some more money. Contest winner, okay. All right, so Cyborg Photoshop and it was Rudolph White were the winners. The other guys was, didn't respond fast enough. The rules were that you have to respond within 20 seconds. I gave you guys more. So um, congrats to the winners. We'll do two more. Um, we'll do two more. All right, so uh, anyone else have any, any, any additional questions? about uh, internet, internet marketing. Windows again, what's up, man? I have a question, but Dan, I don't, I don't ignore you Windows again. What's up, dude? Uh, do your affiliate websites keep their Google rankings after any big algorithm update? Uh, well, I, naturally, over time, your, your, your sites will slowly but surely lose their rankings, but if you keep, really, if you keep creating good content and you focus on your your headlines, your thumbnails, all of that, that will help your stuff stay out, stay on there for a long time. Okay, Let's see. Windows again, I haven't forgot about you, man. <laughs> so Cyborg says, Dan, I watch all your live streams, never won, so it's his first time, that's awesome. Adam Haley, I'm sorry, man, I didn't see your PayPal. Like. It just didn't come up, so I don't know what was up with that. If you post it, post it again, I'll give it to you. Post it. If it post, how many websites do you currently run? Uh, I have a bunch. Um, right now, I'm focusing on like two or three. Uh, th well, like two to three is what my main focus on right now. Uh, w. James Wright says, I've ever used online classifieds to promote affiliate programs. I know people that do. I have not, though. So it's worth a shot. How can you get a start with zero dollars? Uh, Tasha Smith says, how can you get started with zero dollars? YouTube's a great way to start. Just use your, you know, you have to focus on using your creativity. Um, you're focused on using your creativity. That's like, uh, creativity is better than money. Um, oh man, a lot of questions coming in. Do you use Wix.com? I do. I do some. Uh, use Wix.com for PBN sites. Do you really need a web host? Yes. Yes. I, I recommend that. It gives you. It gives you control. You need it. Um, you can. It, you can. You can. Uh, you can. You can try to make do without it. It's not worth it. Let's see here. Do big brands listen to you when you ask them for an affiliate program for YouTube? I'm just starting out. Yeah. Look, if you have an audience, people are willing to work with you. So build up your audience first. For those of you that are like, oh, I can't get approved with Amazon, just um, you, you, you need to build up an audience first. Jen Ever says, diversify. I get money from a bunch of different sites. So it's different strategies. Uh, some people like to diversify. Some like to focus. Um, man, I don't know what it is. What do you think about online marketing for local businesses? Powerful, powerful for sure. That's a great way to, um, that's not my forte, but there are people crushing it with that. Is teaching WordPress good niche? Yes. There's a lot of stuff you can sell. You can sell web hosting. You can sell plugins, premium plugins, premium themes. Um, definitely lead with YouTube, lead with a blog. That's your two primary ways to get traffic there. What do you think about buying e-commerce? Uh, e-commerce is a great way to go. I personally uh, don't really do it that much. Uh, but a lot of people make a lot of money. There are a lot of different ways to make money. Uh, mostly just focus, I, I focus, the key is to learn how to sell stuff and get traffic. Cat Calaveras says, I just started the Deadbeat program. Um, wondering when I should, when I'm making videos, should I recycle the same content? Yes, you can do that. Just use like different style of videos, different backgrounds, uh, change up the content. It's a great way to do it. Mo Real says he wants to make a million dollars his first month. That's crazy, man. Um, is the sports soccer niche a good niche? Uh, you're going to, uh, that's a tough question. There's not many, you might be able to sell like a uh, soccer training programs. If you want to niche it down, that might have to rely more on ad, AdSense income and ads. 
Uh, Chris Andre says the Deadbeat Super Affiliate System involved building expensive PBNs. Uh, I do teach to how to do that for free. Uh, you're going to want to invest a little bit of money into that if you really, if uh, they'll give you an advantage. You don't need to by any means, but PBNs are a powerful way to uh, to do it. Windows again says Dan, you tight look tired. Yeah, I'm on the 30 day video challenge, so it's really like draining me here. Is Pioneer accepted for receiving payments for? Uh, Amuka affiliate if you're outside the US. Eric, I'm not, um, I, I'm personally not a big fan of Payoneer. Um, it, for me, it's been a lot of hurdles for them, but some people have success. So just personally, I don't use them anymore. Uh, some people, some people do, some people have success with it. Aaron says, what do I think about buying uh, Ripple coin? Uh, I'm not really much of a, of, a, of a Bitcoin fan to be honest with you. Like I have small amounts of money in it, uh, different uh, cryptos, but, um, it's it, it's not it just really, really just for like learning purposes. I don't really believe it's a good investment. Per, uh, I don't investment and speculative and speculation are different. I'm more of an investor, not a, a speculator. Um, doesn't mean you can't make money off of it though. No real says, uh, I love your stuff. I don't know if I'm doing things wrong for forty five dollars. I've only made forty five dollars in four months. So how much? How many videos have you made? How much content have you made? Are you adapting? What What is your output is the question. CD says Ripple doubled in the last few weeks. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Uh, because, you know, like hindsight's 2020. You, you, the, the key to building, the, the key to building wealth doesn't happen overnight. Doesn't happen overnight. For sure. Could, it, could have just easily lost that. Um, do, you, do you need a website or a landing page? Okay, to start with. Um, land, yeah, you can, you can do it with just a landing page, a squeeze page, so to speak. But, um, yeah, I, I, prefer, I prefer you guys to make affiliate sites. I teach that in Deadbeat Super Affiliate, in my Deadbeat Super Affiliate program. Nick Benning, Bingham says, what affiliate programs do you like the most? I like, uh, CJ has, CJ.com has a lot of good affili affiliate programs in it. Right now, that's like one of my favorites. How many articles are ideal for a website? 10 1,000 word articles can get you a long way. Mo Real says one, okay, Mo Real dude, like you only have one video, so you, you like that's that's very little output, man. You're good, like, that's nothing. Uh, one video, so like, you know, if you, dude, scale that up. If, you, if your first video made you $45, like start honing that in, dude. You're, you're, your output is, you're, you're in the bare minimum mindset. It should, you should have 100 videos by now. Um, Jack, Jack, Jacqueline Hall says, thank you. Just got the program. That's uh, I, th I assume, do you mean Deadbeat Super Affiliate or Tube Tycoon? Either one is great to start. Um, Deadbeat Super Affiliate is proven. I get testimonials all the time from that. Um, Tube Tycoon is all about YouTube for those of you wondering. In my opinion, YouTube is kind of, video marketing is the way things are going. As far as if you want to get ahead of the trends, uh, YouTube is where it's at. And the good thing about that, a lot of people think you have to appear on camera. You don't. You don't have to appear on camera if you don't want to. In fact, a lot of my affiliate niche YouTube channels, I don't appear in at all. So that's Tube Tycoon. Um, Deadbeat Super Affiliate System is still a great place to start, though, for those of you on a budget. Both of the links for those are below. That's anyone watching this outside of YouTube, that's Deadbeat Super Affiliate dot com or that's for my deadbeat super affiliate system or tube tycoon dot com that's tube tycoon dot com blue checker says he's camera shy yeah don't or i don't know if you're male or female from the name yeah it doesn't matter you don't have to appear on camera if you don't want to uh what niche are you working on right now uh health niches are all always uh, my focus because they're evergreen as heck um so that's the answer to that health niches and my Deadbeat Super Affiliate channel. How do you start an Amazon FBA business? I don't teach that right now, but I am gonna branch out to that soon. Why don't I recommend AdSense when starting a website? Because AdSense is really just chump change money, in my opinion, um, as far as what you can make. Windows again says, dude, I'm, <laughs> Grunt McGrunk says I have a face for radio. That's funny. <laughs> I have a face for radio. Pat says, Dan, do you know any guys killing in the digital book sales space? Yes, yes. But the, I, the, 
There is no, the way, it's always like the grass is greener on the other side. There is no best, uh, there is no best way to make money in my opinion. It's just about what you focus on. Matthew, this is a good question. Matthew Davies, Davis says, do I focus on all A's in high school or affiliate marketing? So that's up to you, dude. Like, uh, personally, I, you know, maybe some people are better off being students and employees. Um, personally, I believe college teaches you to be an employee. Um, usually entrepreneurs aren't straight A students. So, uh, but that doesn't mean you can't be an entrepreneur if you're a straight A student. It's just, uh, that's the decision you have to make for yourself. Basically ask yourself, what do you want to do for the rest of your life? If you want to be an employee, if you want that, um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like, in fact, that, in my opinion, that's probably the smarter way to go in the sense that you're going to be able to, uh, it, it takes a lot of mental energy to be an entrepreneur. As in, you have to constantly think of the next place to go. You wake up every day like, all right, now I have to think about how I'm going to make, make money today. So there's a, you get a little bit of mental peace, in my opinion, if you go the employee, my, the employee route. But as an employee, there's only so far that you can go, in my opinion. You always, you, you get what you're given. So that doesn't mean it's the wrong thing to do. But I personally, for me, I always wanted to earn more. I always wanted to be in charge of my, own, my, of my desti destiny and achieve more than the average person. And I figured the only way to do that was on my own. So if that's, my opinion, uh, it depends on what type of person you are. Shane Anderson says, good advice. I have two degrees and here I am. Yeah, it's, it, it, the, you know, in the end, you're learning stuff. Like knowledge is power for sure. So just because, you know, it's up to you, man. It's up to you. That's something I can't really tell you. I can't really tell you what to do with your life. Uh. Oe Oe Makinda uh, Oe Makinda says, "How can I sell market health products? Get my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System. Get that. That's a, a good way to start." Eric says, "What do you think about buying websites already set up and running? So this can be this can be good. This can be bad. It depends. So yeah, that's a tough question for you, man." Uh, I, if you know what you're doing, if you know how to analyze traffic, if you know how to look at affiliate offers and, and look at someone's like, I, I can look at, I've, I've, I've gone through flippa.com. You can buy existing sites and nine times out of a 10, when I analyze a site, I know they're doing shady stuff. Like they're inflating their traffic. They're incorporating sales from other affiliate offers that they promote. I have an eye for that. So I can tell if you're a beginner, I recommend that you learn the ropes, learn how to build an affiliate site step-by-step, step. learn how to, uh, analyze traffic, learn how to see, um, you know, what, tra how long you'll learn over time doing it in the trenches, like how valuable traffic is, certain sources are, how long that can typically last for, etc. Like a lot of times on Flippa, what you'll see are sites where someone has done a product launch and there'll be a big spike of money, like the first two or three months. So it'll look great from the outside. Like, look, it just, it's freaking taking off and it's going to be like this forever. But I know, like, based off the looking at the traffic sources, I'm like, hmm, a lot of direct traffic. That means that it's coming from email. It's either coming from email or it's coming from some kind of paid source. So um, I look at the traffic stats. I'm like, all right, so it's clear to me that this a lot of this traffic here is coming from email. And that means that it's either a product launch or they're paying for solo ad traffic or they're doing something to get this traffic to come in and make it look like the site's really doing really well. But I know that as soon, but in my head, I'm like, but I bet. As soon as I buy this site, they're going to cut off that traffic and I'm going to be left with a dead site. So you need to, you have to know how to analyze that. And that comes with experience, how to tell this. So as a beginner, I'm going to say that, um, that yeah, that's just my, my advice for you. Natural Way says, it's a good feeling, but I've also spent 15 years working my balls off and don't have anything to show for it. Uh, I uh, stayed home working... He says, stay at home, whacking off, eating Cheetos. Okay. That's, uh, that definitely won't make you any money. <laughs> That's funny. Does, uh, does Mark Health still work? Uh, health, the way it works is health. Any health topic is profitable. People spend money for health. It's proven. So it doesn't matter what network you go with. 
Mo Real says my website looks amazing though, and you're saying all I need to do is drive more traffic. Yes, you just need more traffic, man. Let's see here. What are the worst niches for YouTube? Uh, the good thing about YouTube is there are a lot of profitable mar profitable markets out there. Um, the, the markets that I recommend people to stay away from, um, and that is just based off of the, uh, my, my I guess is the average person doesn't want to be doing that Logan Paul style, like going out there and making a fool of yourself type stuff. I'm going to bet that most people are too shy to do that. So I recommend you stay away from those enter entertainment based niche markets. Oh my God. Mm. I hate dry mouth. And don't get me wrong, you can make a boatload of money in those topics. But educational style stuff is typically a little easier to make money from. Uh, JC Boy says, I've been, I've been doing Amazon affiliate marketing and drop shipping for almost nine months, doing Facebook ads, and now I owe Facebook $100. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not made for this. Um, well, you just gotta you gotta skill up more. You gotta focus more. Um, I think you might be dabbling a little bit too much, in my opinion. Oh man. All right, guys. Let's give out some more money. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna log off. I'm getting tired. Uh, Let's give some money. 50, uh, do 50 more bucks. Question will be, uh, how long did it take me to make my first affiliate sale? So how long, I've said this a few times, both, I'm picking two winners for this question. How long did it take me to make my first affiliate sale? Someone says I look tired, I'm tired today. This three, this, uh, this uh, 30 day video, I'm trying to do a 30 day video challenge, it is killing me. It's killing me, which is a video day. All right, let's see here. All right, we got Cor we got Cor Courtney Bay Byram. So we got Courtney Byram wins and Stephen Tramp. Oh wait, no, we got someone above him. Freckle face doodle. Stephen, sorry about that. I just like, fuck. dang it. All right, Stephen, I'm gonna give you the money because I just called your name. Oh no, you said three months, so you were wrong. It's three weeks. The answer's three weeks. So Stephen, you said three months. You're actually wrong about that. Uh, Fre Freckle Face Doodles wins, wins and Courtney Byram wins. Stephen Trump, you said three months. Sorry, man. So Courtney Byram and Freckle Face Doodles, I need your PayPal with within um, within 20 seconds here. So Courtney Byram and Freckle Face, need that PayPal. You guys have got 20 seconds, so we move on to the next person. Courtney, need those PayPals. I don't see anything. All right, got Courtney. All right, Courtney and all right, got you. All right, someone's listening here. So Courtney got you and uh, Freckle Face Doodles got you. All right, guys, so that'll be it for the cash today. If anyone has any final questions about anything affiliate marketing related or Deadbeat Super Affiliate or Tube Tycoon, any of that stuff, any of that stuff. All right, I got you guys. I got you. Freckle, I see you. Uh, Alex Fuller says he made four affiliate sites today. Awesome, dude. You're on a freaking roll. Why don't I recommend ads, uh, Google AdSense for, for new sites? Because it just pays pennies. You really can't make, you can't scale that up. Let's see here. What is the best way to get free traffic? I think uh, YouTube video marketing for sure is the best way to do it. Now, with that said, I'm going to talk about this in the future. You're going to have to start tapping into other, other social networks like Instagram, Facebook, uh, Facebook Live. All these are great ways to get excuse me, traffic, email marketing, all this stuff. So the way the internet's going is it's, it's, it's starting to diversify out on different platforms and you have to learn how to tap into those. Uh, uh, Quora is another great way to do it. Reddit's another great way to do it. Will, I'm, I have a, some tutorials on Reddit. I'm releasing tomorrow, by the way. Will Whitehouse, Whitehouse says, Tube Tycoon rocks. Thanks, dude. So Will Whitehouse is a Tube Tycoon student. Appreciate you. Chris Andre says, I got Tube Tycoon. Uh, I thought I'd get Deadbeat as well for completeness. Um, is the upsell, uh, so I think he's talking about Traffic Blaster. Yes, still a good program. You can use that for both. Um, Potent con Content says, how long will Deadbeat Super Affiliate be up and running uh, for a while? 
Is it worth it to make a makeup course to sell? Uh, yeah, definitely. Sell both, sell both, physical and uh, physical and digital. Can you talk more about Reddit? Yes, tomorrow I'm, I'm actually releasing a tutorial tomorrow for that. Danielle Morani says, how much is, is Tube Tycoon? Daniel, so the site's below. It's tubetycoon.com. Um, check that out. Uh, Buffalo Shark Reseller says, been, been, on, been on Tube Tycoon for two days straight. That's awesome, man. Stick with it. Justin Spiegel says, hey, Dan, I used the $25 I won from here to get a professional voiceover for whiteboard video. Awesome, dude. That's a good way to put the money to good, to good work. How about Google AdWords? Um, I, I have not, I have not learned that yet. Although I am starting a Google AdWords campaign at some time this week. I've, I've, I've tinkered around with it, but now I'm going to start. I, I think I finally got it. Finally got it. Kevin, Ho Kevin Horn. What's up, man? How you doing? Good to see you on board. Kevin, uh, on live, uh, ugh, live, Kevin. Uh, Manel, Manalo says for a brand new niche, where would you post for first? Definitely with my, create my own blog. So I teach that in Deadbeat Super Affiliate and create a YouTube channel. Um, the great thing about that is uh, both of those are versatile. Both of those, those are versatile. To, uh, both those traffic sources are very versatile depending regardless of your, um, your, your, your niche market. Uh, Windows again says, Dan, I have a question. Uh, when you, when you're going to talk to me privately, I want to show you some real numbers I made because of you. Uh, Windows, reach out to me on Facebook. I, I send me a, 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 um, a message to my personal Facebook. My, my, my Debbie super affiliate, uh, Facebook page just gets overwhelmed. I can't keep up with it anymore. Samantha says, Tube Tycoon has really helped me clean up my YouTube videos and helped me distribute them on social medias much better as well. But awesome. That's good. Now I have to figure out how to sell stuff. Yep, next step, figuring it out. Bobby says, am my first site still making money? Um, my first sites I made a long time ago. Uh, I'd say one of, I, the, one of the ones I, f I focus on has been around for quite a while. Uh, that's, that still makes money. Uh, the first ones I made, I deleted those. I didn't delete them. I just let them expire. So the first affiliate sites were spyware removal. I found that was kind of like a cheesy, a, a cheesy market. So I was like, ah, fuck, I don't want to do that. Payday loans. I did that. I found that they were just kind of not, they were just kind of dirty after I did, I learned more about them. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to leave these alone. How many websites would I need to earn at least three to 4,000 a month? You can do it with one potentially. It's totally potentially uh, po possible to do it with one affiliate site. So it's just really more about how much traffic do you need and what type of offers. One Wish Bone says, do you always use an intro and outro for your affiliate videos? You don't have to. No, you don't have to. It helps so. Uh, this is a good question. Eric says, marketing products above $1,000. Is that a good idea? Yes, you can do that. It, is, it takes a little bit more work. Um, Takes a little bit more work, but it can be profitable. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna end that end it off for today. So I'm gonna give out the cash, uh, pay out the cash at the end of the night tonight. Thanks for everyone for coming out. If you're interested to get my any of my systems or my programs, uh, it's DeadbeatSuperAffiliate.com. Link below. Um, and and Tube Tycoon, which is all about making money on YouTube. Which I think, in my opinion, from my experience, video marketing is totally the way of the future. Learn how to do that in TubeTycoon.com. Link link below. All right, got, all right, guys, uh, Manalo says, I have your course. I have your course. Perfect. Thanks. Awesome. Uh, all right, guys. So I'm going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to bed. <laughs> I need a nap. I've been working way too hard. This, uh, I'm trying to do a 30 day video challenge. It is just, I think this is going to be the last one I do 30 day video challenge. Like this is so, so much work. All right, guys. So, uh, like I'm working like two to three hours a day now. I can't handle it. It's killing me. All right, Debbie. So with that said, thanks for coming out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon. Also share this video with your friends, comment below. And if you guys need anything, just reach out for me, comment on this video. I'm happy to help. My name is Dan Brock, the Deadbeats Super Affiliate. Now see you Deadbeats later.